Well, improving the catching position is always a good thing, Mike, especially when you can get a catcher who can hit. And certainly the catcher the Jays have from the Cubs can do that. Yeah, Miguel Montero uh, certainly can hit. He can't throw at all, but he can hit. And uh, apparently he's quite a good receiver as well, which is helpful. And uh, more importantly, you have a, a good left-handed bat now that you can view. You've added uh, a guy who can give Russ Martin a day off and a guy who you can also use as a bat off the bench, and you got him for free. So there's really no downside at all to this. Um <laughs> I would love to investigate, and I'm sure the Blue Jays did their homework on really what kind of a teammate Miguel Montero is, because the reason he was freely available is because he... Uh, Jake Arrieta, yeah. Yeah, his comments about Jake Arrieta. So um, I don't think they would have picked him up if there was serious concern about what kind of teammate he's going to be. But... Um, but this is, I mean, as soon as as soon as he got DFA'd by the Cubs, my first thought was, yeah, he's he's exactly what they they're looking for, and uh, apparently they thought the same thing. Well, they did, and uh, he uh, joins the Blue Jays, and um, I definitely uh, another bat in the lineup which they could use, Mike, because one of the things that's been so, and we've talked about it so much this season with this ball club, is the disappointing 37 and 44 record is really pronounced by the disappointing in offense. And you start to look at the, the numbers, and now we're halfway through the season, so we're out of the small sample sizes, and, and it's early and what have you. This team is 27th in runs, 23rd in batting average, uh, dead last in runners in scoring position. They could certainly use some bats, Mike, because the bats they have right now are just collectively just not having a great season, to say the least. Yeah, no, they're not. Um but, I mean, this isn't a guy who's going to come in and be in the starting lineup. For this no, team, true. Right? It's yeah. the backup catcher. So um, so it's not like you're going to plug Miguel Montero in and he's going to help fix the offense um, because he's not, I mean, unless he becomes the regular catcher and Russell Martin becomes the regular second baseman. But I can't imagine that that's going to happen. So, um, this is a nice little nice little piece, a nice bat off the bench. It means that now when Martin doesn't play, you're not completely giving up an offensive spot, uh, which you were doing with Luke Maley. And, uh, and so it's a, it's a little incremental gain here, but really the truth is, like you said, I mean, this is a team that's going to have to start hitting.